Dozens gathered tonight at the Louisville NAACP chapter to meet with school superintendent Dr. Donna Hargens to talk about education and color. WLKY's Erica Coghill was there tonight. She joins us live with details. Erica? Vicki, nearly 40 people packed into the Louisville NAACP office here tonight. The purpose was to address issues with the JCPS. Now, while many topics were touched on tonight, the big one that was discussed was the issue of the lack of minority teachers at JCPS schools. Across the Jefferson County public school system, 36% of the students are African American, 51% are minorities. There is a part of the strategic plan that says our employee population should mirror our, our student population. But JCPS Superintendent Dr. Donna Hargens admits that's not the case. Hargens says one school, which she didn't name, is really not measuring up to the plan. Where there is no African American employee at all. That needs to be addressed because our kids need role models. Kenneth Kennedy has a grandson who is a student at a JCPS school. I wanted to get the best education possible. And I think there are some deficiencies within our system currently. I'm hoping they're going to be addressed. Wednesday, the NAACP, along with members of the community, met with Dr. Hargens to do just that. We're concerned with achievement. We're concerned with retention and recruitment of minority teachers. What we have to offer is something to stimulate people to want to come in, stimulate minorities to want to come in. It's an issue Dr. Hargan says JCPS and her team will continue to work on. We don't get results directly from the meeting, but we at least know that the superintendent is looking at and will try to correct the deficiencies that we see. Now, future meetings are in the works. No date was picked tonight, but this discussion will continue. Nothing was resolved tonight. The point of it was to discuss some of those issues and get the ball rolling so some of those concerns can be addressed. Live tonight in West Louisville, I'm Erica Coghill, WLKY News.